to use the PC Alpha 2 software. Uh, the first thing I usually do is connect Alpha up by USB. Hey, what's up? Uh, as you can hear, it's turned on and I run Visor. Now, what Visor does, it links to Alpha and actually shows you what's going on inside Alpha so you can actually see. Now, when you first turn him on, it actually runs a program called, uh, what's it called, Chat Partner. Now, what the Chat Partner does is the software that continuously makes him talk, says he's going to sleep, if he wants to dance with you, he can take a picture, and it just gets... Um, Please help me connect to network, there you and go. I will be able to do more. It just Sorry, gets in the way. Connection failure. You may reselect a Wi-Fi or input the password. It just gets in the way when you're trying to do um, actions. So what I do is basically load visor up and close chat partner down. So there's nothing actually running out on Alpha now, other than these services, which are in the background. As you can see, it just looks like a normal tablet. So let's go ahead and start. The software up actually visor is um it's an app on chrome and all you need to do is uh, type it in and you'll find it so when you first download the pc software and unzip it it actually comes with loads of chinese writing in the microsoft where it wouldn't start up so i just renamed that folder to alpha 2 um, and since then it's been fine so let's start it up Actually, the first thing you need to do after you've started it up is put it into English. So, system settings, click that, because this will be in Chinese, so you won't be able to read it. So, click system settings, choose a second one from the drop down menu, click OK, and then once you restart the software, you'll see it all in English. So, click login and log in to the name you first to the account that your alpha is configured to. So I'll stick in my password, so I've logged in. Uh, click connected devices and you can see there, there's my alpha and he's currently free and online. Now sometimes this works straight away and other times you have to do it a couple of times. Um, you'll know when he's connected properly because the action list down here, it's failed. So I'll log in again. password um, connected devices it says it's offline and free if I actually try now and connect hopefully it'll uh, populate the list there you go so there are all his actions now if you've connected him via USB like I have it'll actually appear as a folder or a drive so you can actually go and see what's inside alpha and there's his actions folder with all his actions in they're the same actions that you can see inside here. Also, if you um, if you run your on, which is the application that I'm trying to trying to write, it actually creates a folder in here called your on, and there's an XML file, and that's where all your jokes and your radio stations are held. And you can transfer that over to your desktop, and you can also drop a new one back in. So let's go ahead and uh, do a quick action. So I'm going to right click and go add to. I'm just going to give it a quick name of wave um, and then you can tie a different sort of block type now flowchart and motion it's a motion one that I want and I think the flowchart one you can do um, loops and different things but I'm not not so sure I've not played with that yet so I'll click motion click OK and then what I need to do is on start I'll click to on start I'll try that again on start and then on stop to on start and then I'm going to double click on wave and this will give me the sort of building block template so over here that's a picture of alpha and what I'm going to do I'm going to click read all or all read and what this does it reads the 20 servo positions inside inside the real alpha that's next to me so at the moment it's just standing up straight so it's read them all and then on here I'm going to click add and that will add his current position so now I'm going to lift one arm up on Alpha, right to the top, and I'm going to click read again. And there uh, is red, that our servo is now changed. So I'm going to click add, 
and I'm going to put his arm down a little bit sometimes he can support his own weight and sometimes he can't so if you're doing an action so you will need to support him yourself so all read arm down add arm up all read now you don't you can you can move all the servos if you want and then click add so we can play that back by clicking play up here and you can hear alpha moving that or you can actually just double click on these actions and it'll, and it'll play them but what you need to do if you try and move his arm now now you've clicked on this or played it the actual servos have, have, have got a charge in them so you can't move them you're gonna have to click all read again and then it's once it's read the servos then you can actually move them so just a little tip there you've also got that's an image mode if you click where it says image mode you've got a grid mode and these hold the positions of every servo all your 20 servos the run time is and I'm not sure what S time is but it's actually the the pause in between each action um, now these actions each servo has got a minimum a recommended minimum and maximum level now if you've for some reason they've not bundled this with a PC code but they have bundled it with the SD uh, with the SDK development code so if you go in downloads let me just show you I'll actually post this if it's not already posted on the website so you can have a look at it uh, it's in documentation ranges for angles I'll just bring this in so yeah there's the servos rate actual ranges suggested ranges so it doesn't overstretch a servo and what a servo it relates to now if you're not so sure which servo it relates to you can actually click on alpha so it's the shoulder and it'll tell you down here that that's servo 1 is head servo 20 is foot 11 16 you get the idea so now we've built the action that we want I can click save I'm going to save it as a wave. Oops, save it as a wave. Yeah, I'm just going to place it. I was playing before. So I've saved that now. Um, and now I'll actually upload it to Alpha. So I'll click on this um, icon down here. Download to Alpha. Find out where it is. Click wave. And it's actually uploaded that now. If I click refresh now, it'll actually be in there as a wave. There are a couple of other ones I've done before. You can actually import them back into the program and you can have a look at them as well. Now you've got these buttons here, um, plus you can eyes layer. Now I've not really played with this, but you can click on eyes. So if I want to change them ones there like that to yellow can add them um, I need to put I think this is timing so if I do that modify gives you an idea um, and then I'll change them to blue and then add then you can see when I play them his eyes just his eyes don't change on alpha but they change on this but when you actually upload the event the action to alpha that's when you actually see his eyes change and that's about it that's all I've, I've basically discovered I'm sure it does a lot more um, but with the lack of documentation it's quite difficult yeah, that's about as far as I've got enjoy